saying I am black when the first word you said is nigga is crazy. That is, bro. You got some explaining to do. This is a banger. Boy, go find someone. Find someone you love. Girl, I can't find no one. Cause you the one I love. You don't understand. It's so hard to trust. She like you not the one. You didn't give me enough. You've seen us. Trust me, I've seen from far. Feel like I know you're wrong for me. I still want you to come home to me. It's not my fault or easy. Girl, I didn't know. This is Brent Fayez. I feel like this is like, um, you know, like a like constant ad libbing. It's hard for me to like get to break like to fully like dive into it though because it's just kind of airy you know misty music you know what i mean it's like vibey it's like overly vibey so it's hard for him to like really I stand to out like to me this guy's music but knowing he's probably an industry plant i know this is an overused term but literally where tf did this guy come from just annoys me it don't matter to me. Like, if he's good, he's good. Even if it's a plant. Like, if it's good, it's good. I just... I want. I would like for something to stand out more. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just a vibe. You know, it's just vibey music. It's, it's, it's difficult seeing it blow up the way it has. Because I don't really feel like there's something about it that stands out too much. But if the people like it, they like it. think his voice or auto tune i don't think it matters like live performance wise you got to understand like what you can make profitable and since all the real like super hard cash is going to be off touring you got to think about how i could sell this as a performance how am i going to make this interesting long term like business wise God, this is how you niggas supposed to make music not the jungle ish this is good he in the hood showing that he is not one dimensional and can expand beyond well it is very one dimensional but i don't have a problem with that but it's profitable from the bedroom not in person and that's really the biggest difficulty with people who make vibey music it's hard to get the crowd excited for that at least in my opinion because why would i go see it why would i go pay money you know what I'm saying? The experience is live. When you dropping the single with the music video. Because in, really, in reality, I feel like it's a bunch of ad libby kind of music. But it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's still nice. What the fuck he mean jungle? Y'all was focused on the wrong shit, bro. It's March. You know that was a white man talking. You told me that you got me. Side note. Milk goes before Saturday everyone. I'm about to ban you. Yeah, like it, it's cool. I just don't think I don't I don't really see it as 
anything that like they or 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 say so couldn't replicate or even that uh that one dude i forgot his name though damn what the fuck tyus y'all remember the tyus era like i just i don't think it's anything different from that wave it's just another year another nigga that's doing it you feel me Listen to Angelica's, Listen to Angelica's place. place by Chase Shaker. He a brand clone, but it's not bad at all. You wanna know who Tyus is? Oh, nah. I'm not saying you missing much, but I just can't believe you missed that little era. He's still dropping music, huh? I'm about to put in a chase on. Hold on. Chase the cooler, Angelica's place. Right, nigga saying nah. We make slides a joy. They try hard to destroy. But my love has grown for you. The more and more so comfortable. That shit sound the same to me, bro. All of it exists in the same bucket to me. Hold on. Oh, wait. And that other nigga. Wait, wait, wait. What's his name? Oh, my God. Wait, I forgot that other nigga name. Oh, my God. Oh Does my he God. really sound like that? If not, his live performance career is cooked. I'm fairly certain it's all heavy effects. He's going to be on stage sounding like Cameron singing R&B. <laughs> K Forest, there you go. I never would have remembered the name, but it, it, it's all in that. It's all under that same umbrella to me. Even though K Forest is probably one of the more like one of the more standouts of it. She says it don't sound great live, but she sells out really well. I think it's because people are expecting her to sound like that when they go uh, check her out, and her music is like something that I would pay to see perform because she her vocals, at least on the record, stand out in a really bright. You know what I'm saying? Ear grabbing way. Four bats, I don't see that same reality for you, feel me? I gotta listen to more uh to more K Forest though, to be honest. You still checking for party? Not really, bro. Like, I'ma listen if he drop, but if he don't drop ever again, I'm completely fine with that. I don't need him to drop another album. Like the R and B niggas gotta understand that you like it's not like vibes are cool, don't get me wrong, but like the niggas that have that voice are are going to stand out, you know, the Giveons, the Daniel Caesars, like they're going to rise because people at the end of the day want to hear singers. They still want to hear traditional R&B. It's not just about vibe. What about Blast? I don't listen to Blast like that. Just realized I forgot to update you, bro. I graduated college. Or I graduate college in two months. Grades are A's and B's. Back to you, hey man, that's good shit. I wish I would be me. I'm not a. I'm not a student. I'm not a student kind of guy. Is what I mean to say. Omar Apollo got a great voice. I heard a couple of his songs. He's not bad. Blast is good. Stop ignoring me. I love you back after a long time. What the fuck? What do you mean? What about Aaron Ray? I don't get too much off Aaron Ray for real. Not really. I haven't listened to his music in a minute. Vori a goat, no bullshit. Vori was okay, and I think he still got that one, you know what I'm saying, happy birthday to you, which we I still like to listen to every now and again, but after his recent stunt, like, I can't even. Like, nigga, my, nigga cooked, I ain't gonna lie. After that recent shit he, he said, I don't know, bro, that shit, shit was weirdo. It's complete weirdo. Ryan Trey? Nah. Not a big fan of Ryan Trey. What Vori do? He a woman beater. 
Well, it's video of it. Now, don't don't make it seem like I'm just saying that. It's video. Saying I saying to his girl, I'll literally get you killed and all this other shit. Just weirdo shit. You think JB still has it in him? Justin Bieber? Yes, I do. I do. I was listening to uh I was listening to what what was that song I was listening to the other day? Fuck. I think it was Up. I was listening to Up. And he did a record with with Chris Brown. I forgot the name of it though. That he did really well on for a collab. It wasn't the newer shit though. It was older. Justin Bieber definitely still got some shit in there. Cuz Justin Bieber still got a good voice. His his songwriting just ass. His songwriting and his instrumental selection is just complete garbage. But if he gets those two things, like team up with a decent producer and a good songwriter, and he maintains the level of control over his voice that he got, he'd be right back up there. I'll call him R and I'll, I'll call him R and B again, R and B Justin again, biracial Justin, light skinned Justin. You know, I'll go back to calling him that. 